Well, hey, 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 YouTube. Today, we're going to deploy a Discord bot into AWS. So to get our bot into AWS, we're going to utilize a service called Elastic Beanstalk. Elastic Beanstalk is a service designed to streamline the provisioning of resources for code so you don't have to create your own servers or containers or most of the heavy lifting that's required in order to get code running. I'll be demonstrating how to prepare our code to deploy to Elastic Beanstalk. We'll be setting up the service and in the end we'll be testing the bot by issuing a command. All right, let's get started. Before we can deploy our code to Elastic Beanstalk, we need to make some minor changes to the NPM scripts. So in VS Code, open up package.json. When Elastic Beanstalk is ready to start your code, it's actually gonna run the command npm start. Since Nodemon is primarily a local development tool, it's not going to work in AWS. So we're going to need to change the start script to node index.js just to let node start the process. And then we're gonna create a new command We'll call this one dev, which we can use going forward for our development purposes. And we're going to set that to nodemon index.js. So going forward, you'll have to issue the command npm run dev in your terminal as opposed to npm start. Let's go ahead and save that. And the next thing we need to do before we head over to AWS is we're going to create a zipped up package of our code. So I'm going to right click this and reveal on file explorer. Now in Windows, the easiest way to do this is to select all of the files inside of the directory you've been working with. Right click, send to, and then compressed zip folder. We're gonna name the archive demo discord bot. And we're gonna use that and upload that into Elastic Beanstalk to start off. So let's head over to AWS, drop down services. Under compute, you'll see Elastic Beanstalk. So let's go ahead and click that. If this is your first application, you're gonna be presented with a screen like this. Go ahead and click on create application. We're gonna give our application a name. I'm gonna name mine demo discord bot. I'm gonna add the same tags we've been using so far. So application, demo discord bot. For platform, we're gonna select Node.js. We can leave the branch and version as their defaults. Under application code, let's select upload your code. And we're gonna upload a local file, select choose file, and select the archive we just created. Okay, once the file is uploaded, go ahead and click Create Application. While the application is being created, you'll be presented with a screen like this for monitoring. Once AWS has finished provisioning all the resources, you will be presented with a screen like this. And if everything went according to plan, you should see under Health OK right here. Let's go ahead and back into Discord. You can see on the right hand side, our demo Discord bot is running. Let's try and issue a hello command and we receive back world. Congratulations, your bot is now successfully running up in AWS, and this concludes the Coding Discord bot series. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, and share the video. I'm also live right here on YouTube every Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central. For channel updates or to get in touch with me, follow me on Twitter at BrianMMDev or join my Discord using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.